Welcome to another session of Microsoft 365 and in this class we will discuss about one of important service of Microsoft 365 like users management and you know that uh, in the users properties we are able to find lots of options like as uh, the mail forwarding we are able to find the option of alias alternate email id how to assign the license and uh, how to reset the password for our mailboxes. So I'll give you the complete information. Those information can help you to crack the interview. And also if you are uh, responsible to manage the mailing services for any organization. So definitely this video can help you. So let's move ourselves to the portal and discuss about the procedure uh, to configure user account. And also we'll discuss about the features which are available in the users property. So let's move ourselves to the portal. But before that, if you are new on my YouTube channel, if you're watching my video first time, please do subscribe because Teach Me Cloud is a single technical training based YouTube channel that give you 100% live practical based video without skip any steps. So guys, this is our 365 portal. Yes, Microsoft 365 portal. And this is my root account. And I have already purchased the license of, uh, I think Microsoft E5 that contain lots of product. So what you need to do, you need to sign up yourself over a Microsoft 365 portal, Office 365 portal and uh, open admin center. Yes, because we will discuss about the options which are available in Microsoft 365 admin center. So in the Microsoft 365 admin center, we are able to find lots of options are available. Our responsibility to manage users properties. So let's click on the users. We are able to find active user contacts, guest user account and deleted users. Our responsibility, we should know about the each and every option. We should know about the usage of these uh, options like as uh, active user, contacts, guest and deleted account. I'm going to click on the active user. It will redirect you on the page where we can find the number of users that we created. And it also give you option to create a new user by using different different method like add user, we can create the user with the help of template. We can create multiple user by using the add multiple user icon. We can configure the multi-factor authentication and you can also delete the user. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add new user, right? I'm just going to uh, click on the new user. It will redirect you on this particular page and uh, type the name of your user. So I wanted to create the user with name of Tata. Right. I don't have a custom domain. So that's why. Okay. Sorry. Tata is already available. So let me change it. Okay. The username is class, right? So class, which is associated with teach me cloud 389 on microsoft.com. We are using the default domain, but uh, if you have your own domain, like you purchase a domain from domain provider, so you can add it directly. I'll show you the steps uh, how we can add our custom domain with our uh, um, uh, active, uh, sorry, Office 365 services. I don't want to create a password automatic because I wanted to proceed with my own password, right? Required this user to change the, uh, their password when they first sign in. I don't want to do that. Send a password. No, 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 no need to make any changes here. Click next. We have a two different options. One is Enterprise Mobility plus Security E5 that help you in case of uh, Intune management. And then uh, another uh, option, another license that we have Microsoft 365 E5, which is responsible to provide you mailboxes. So I'm going to assign the license right now, but we have option to uh, add our license once our user is ready to use. It's not mandatory to assign while creating, but I'm going to proceed with that. 57 different application you will find in this particular license. Yes, these all are the uh, op uh, applications are services which are a part of our license that you selected. So I don't want to customize it. This is another panel optional setting that help you to uh, delegate the user if you want to enhance the rights of your user account you just need to click on the roles so whenever we click on the role it will redirect you on the admin center access like uh, you can make it exchange administrator uh, administrator global administrator help desk as it is teams administrator if you want to delegate if you want to enhance the rights of your existing user you must need to assign the member of global administrator or exchange administrator According to the usage means which types of task you want to perform with the help of user, you can proceed with that. I don't want to assign any kind of uh, 
additional setting let's finish our user is ready to use class user is ready to use i'm just going to right click and copy the user open incognito wizard right office.com sign in provide user id and password this is our username and i'm going to use my password ask later because i don't want to configure multi-factor authentication right now we will discuss about the mfa separately and now here we are able to log in our user and uh, i think we are able to access the entire services 57 different uh, options are available 50 different uh, 57 different applications are available in this particular license and uh, as per the license as per the application that you added in license you are able to find here clear but our agenda to understand about the users properties this is the basic uh, uh, part that we covered related to the user's creation and assigning the license back to the admin center back to the root account yes and in the root account you just need to open the user's properties uh, let me open the user that we created with name of class right it will give you lots of option and as a office 365 engineer as a microsoft 365 engineer it's our responsibility we should know about the each and every points which are available in the user's property i'm going to start from the very basic right we are able to find account and in the account we are able to find uh, primary mail id yes this is considered as a primary mail id and in front of primary mail id we are able to find one option which is uh, aliases so question what is use of alias as per the name suggests alias you can say that the duplicate name of your user account yes we can say that the duplicate name of your uh, mail id question why we need to use it whenever you, you 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 don't want to distribute you don't want to share your personal information to anyone and uh, that time the alias come into the picture right because with the help of alias you can you can delete your alias you can for uh, you can modify your alias name anytime but we don't have option to make any changes with our email id primary mail email id we are unable to delete it because once you delete it definitely you will lose the entire documents or entire emails that you receive in particular email id correct so alias you can say that it's a type of a duplicate name that we need to add with our email id and uh, it will help you to uh, secure your identity secure your primary identity basically right so what you need to do we just need to click here manage this is your primary email id class at the rate teach me cloud dot something and uh, the name of alias i'm going to add with name of cloud class is primary mail id and cloud which is uh, related to the alias name or duplicate name we successfully added and save it and now if you don't want to share the information about class at the rate something means your primary information primary mail id so you just need to distribute cloud at teach me cloud dot something right so you will receive the mails in the inbox of class.com or class uh, user id the cloud.com which is help us to only accept the email id or receive the email id we don't have option to send the email id with the help of cloud because it's a type of alias open class properties means user properties and let's talk about talk more about the options which are available in the user's property like sign in last sign in it will give you the information about the last sign in sign out from the entire devices for example you log in your account with different different devices on your mobile phone on your tablet and laptop and desktop and you want to sign out the uh, the users from uh, entire devices for every devices so we just need to click here let's talk about the alternate email id so alternate email id as per the name suggests basically it is uh, applicable uh, if you forget the user ID or sorry, if you forget the password for your email ID, primary email ID, then the alternate email ID can help you and they are able to open the same dashboard of admin center with the help of alternate email ID. But in case of normal user, no need to add it. But whenever you try to set up uh, any uh, delegated user, like you want to uh, add one more user which is a member of uh, exchange administrator yeah our uh, teams administrator so that time you should add at least one alternate email id those alternate email id 
can help you in case of in case of uh, if you forget the password clear so guys this is all about the user's property this all information can help you to manage the user account as it is we have a multi-factor authentication we will discuss in pre, uh, ne upcoming session so i hope you guys are able to understand about how to create user and uh, assign the license about LES, about alternate email id and the other options that we uh, we find in creating of user account okay everyone that's it for this session we'll connect in next session soon and discuss more about the Office 365 services. Take care guys. Bye-bye. And please do subscribe. You are on Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel. Bye.